All right, I'm gonna do a quick video on the 1125R side fairings. This is a 2008 Buell 1125R with a few modifications. The only performance modification being the D&D exhaust there. So we'll kind of stand back and let you get a view of the side. This will be the right side. And then move over to the left side. Now there are two stickers that come with the kit. I used uh, two stickers and threw them on there. A little bit of pain in the butt, but uh, that's because I've got shaky hand syndrome pretty bad. All right, set up a drop light there in the front so we can get a little bit more light behind the fairings. And we'll pop around over here and show you what's going on. The left side, we'll start there so that's easier. There's lots and lots of clearance, all right? And kind of zoom in here and look. You can see that there's tons and tons of room and the pods don't actually touch anywhere because there's a pad that's right there in the center. Up around the top here, it's got really good clearance and they don't actually touch. There's a cutout on the side and you can see the bracket to the left. All right, it's kind of stuck up under there. Then I might be able to get a little bit on the right hand side. You can kind of see the clip right there, the little nub sticking up. Try to switch underneath the bike. Grab this. I'll slide under here. See if we can get a halfway decent looking picture. All right, so there you have one bracket, and you can see the second right up there, a little bit further back. All right, so now we'll switch over to the other side. This is really the only side that takes a little bit of setup time. And the reason being is because uh, you want to make sure that obviously the fairing's not touching the exhaust. And you can do this, Buell does a really good job of, of giving you the brackets, but you want to adjust them just a little bit. And this is my opinion, but I'm a little uh, OCD about it. So we'll see if we can get in here and let you see the heat tape. And see the heat tape up there extends from the front all the way back here to the rear by this heat shield. And it wraps around pretty well, it's pretty sticky. I've got a little bit of clearance there on that front header. I did that by bending the brackets. Swing around and try to get you a shot of the front here. kind of see this a little bit better all right now this thing this heat tape will balloon up a little bit and if you can see I'm pushing on it I can actually get my finger in between it and the fairing right now so I've got managed to get a little bit more space and the bracket here is the one up front is gonna be hard to see um, the reason being is it connects right back in here and I can't even get my finger on it, but uh, it's a little bit further down. Let's see if we can get an under view. Oh. All right, it's gonna be, let's see if I can find it here. Okay, there's, there's one bracket. You can see how it goes forward up there. See where that connects. And then the further bracket connects right up here. Really what it is, I just took a couple of hard plastic rubber washers and connected them. Put them up underneath the, uh, the head of the bolt there to give me just a little bit more standoff and I bent the, uh, bent it out just a tad using a rag and a pair of pliers to cover it up. So that's it. Hopefully this helps a little bit and solves some questions if anybody had them.